Hey everybody, what's the crack? Pamela here with another video, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, check out the video description if you want to find the colours used and product links in my Amazon shop. So today I want to do a Dutch pour. I haven't had much luck with these in recent months but I'm hoping today, I'm very hopeful today. So this is one I did in August 2019 I think. Um, obviously it was like I was going for like a flame vibe. I want to try and recreate something similar with a smaller circle in the middle, a smaller negative space in the middle um, in different colours. Using my wee lazy Susan today. So today I wanted to use my neons. I know shocker I'm using neons. <laughs> But I wanted to like have a darker colour to match each neon. Does that make sense? So my colours are Deco Art Neon and Sizzling Pink, Thermal Green, Scorching Yellow and Electric Blue. And then I threw in um, a Pibeo Iridescent Precious Gold. I really like this colour. So these are, are the darker colours now. So we have Deco Art Metallics in Berry, Amsterdam Standard in Thalo Green, Primary yellow, and this is Windsor and Newton in Windsor blue. So this is my base. It's a, a mixture of two different colours. I'm trying to show you the shimmer there, but it wasn't happening. Oh look, <laughs> yeah, I just did. <laughs> anyway, this base is a mix of Amsterdam Standard and Oxide Black and Specialities in Graphite. This is a smaller bowl than the one I used the last time. Look, see, see that's what I just did. You're such a wally. Don't take me nowhere. Take a bow. <laughs> I love this lazy Susan. I got it in IKEA for seven pounds. It's fifteen inches in diameter. It's perfect. And it's so easy to clean too. This is non-slip math that I got a big roll of it for like two pounds. And I just cut it to the size of Lazy Susan and then it holds on my canvases which is perfect. Actually I'll show you the back of my canvas so I use frog tape. My frog tape's wider than the actual rim of the canvas so if you can see there I'm actually able to you know put the cello tape on down and then my push pins. And then this hairdryer is just a Remington hairdryer, it's just a cheap hairdryer. It was more the nozzle that I was looking for when I was buying them. After laying it, then I'll just blow it out with the uh, hairdryer. I try and spread it as much as I can, but it, you know, inevitably some quite a bit of it's going to come off the side. On that note, last week I actually wasted quite a bit of paint. I asked for the paint police not to come after me, but they did. My well, one did. So today I kept in footage that I that shows proof that I am not deliberately wasteful. I'm actually scraping it off the table and putting it back in the canvas. Desperate to get back in their great graces, you see. Just a side note, I'm a little sarcastic. Do with that what you will.
I was so happy whenever I got to here. I realised I did not screw it up. It's actually nice. Well, here comes my big head. I think this is so pretty. I'm actually surprised at how nice it came out. If you've seen my last few videos, things don't tend to go according to plan with me. just so much detail on this, it's so pretty. I love that yellow coming through the black. I'm definitely hanging this one on my wall. Nobody's getting this. This is mine. It is very busy, but I really like it. That's it for me for today, folks. If you're not subscribed, I'd love you to subscribe, like, and comment. I still read and reply to all my comments. And if I can help in any way I can, just ask. Until Friday, folks. Bye.